Rock carvings made from the 14th to 17th centuries, but lately they've been getting zero respect. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 monuments ruined by morons. This is one of the worst that I have seen in my entire 25 years of archaeology. For this list, we'll be looking at some reminders that human creations, no matter how remarkable or well-preserved, are never completely safe from human stupidity. Do you know any other important monuments that have been messed up by idiots? Please tell us about them in the comments. Number 10. Plymouth Rock Blown off course by bad weather, the ship Mayflower landed in Plymouth, Massachusetts with its cargo of British outcasts. A chunk of granite the pilgrims might have landed on was dubbed Plymouth Rock and has been preserved for centuries. However, in 2020, just before a celebration honoring the event, a teenage boy went on a red spray painting spree. In one night, he sprayed not just the rock itself, but surrounding monuments, statues, and placards, marking them with the code 508MOF. Ten days ago, the rock and ten other historical monuments around town were splattered with the mysterious phrase 508MOF. What does that mean, and why did he go after the monuments? No one knows. According to the police, he gave no explanation whatsoever. If you're going to pay a high fine for vandalism, you might as well have a reason for it. Police haven't released that 17-year-old's name because of his age, and they say at this point, they still don't know why he might have done this. Number 9. Los Escarales Cave Famous paintings have certainly been stolen and ruined in the past. However, this may be the first time it's ever happened to a cave painting. Los Escarales Cave in Spain has prehistoric paintings dating at least 5,000 years in the past, making it an important cultural landmark and a popular site for archaeologists. So visitors to the cave in 2014 were disturbed one day to see that a small area of the wall appeared to have been hacked off with a chisel. Authorities believe that someone intent on stealing a cave painting tried to remove part of the wall, but ended up crumbling it to dust instead, leaving them with nothing for their pains and a famous cultural legacy defaced. Not the greatest plan. Number 8. The Little Mermaid This iconic bronze statue in Copenhagen, Denmark has been vandalized multiple times. Based on Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, the statue was unveiled in 1913. From the 1960s on, it became a favorite target of vandals. It's been decapitated twice, had its arms sawn off, and been blown off its base with explosives. What have you done to me? Look at me! I'm an anchovy! It's also been drenched in paint, sometimes to make a political point. On one occasion, it was painted green and had an adult toy attached to its hand. On another, it was painted red to oppose whaling. Fortunately, the statue has been restored, at least until the next vandal comes along to ruin it again. Number 7. Petroglyph National Monument Located in the desert region of New Mexico, Petroglyph National Park is one of the largest preserved sites of early art in the United States. The petroglyph pictures carved into volcanic rock were created by Native Americans and Spanish settlers, making the area a unique study in human culture. Unfortunately, vandalism in the park has been on the rise in recent years, with spray paint, trash, old campfires, and displaced rocks marring the ancient beauty of the region. The Petroglyph superintendent says they've seen three instances of vandalism just this year. Since it covers a large area, the park is difficult to guard, especially at night. And while paint or a moved rock may seem inconsequential, such changes can actually cause irreparable damage, not only to the petroglyphs themselves, but to the delicate balance of the surrounding ecosystem. Eastvold says the cheapest solution is education, letting people know a historic treasure is being ruined. Number 6. Luxor Temple The Luxor Temple was built in Egypt thousands of years ago on the edge of the Nile. It is a large complex group of buildings with many chapels for different gods, sculptured stone walls, and a grand gate. In 2013, a tourist discovered something that definitely wasn't part of the original. Someone had scratched, Ding Jin Hao was here, with a sharp object, right over a carving of the god Anubis. 3,500-year-old Egyptian artwork in Luxor was being restored after a 15-year-old Chinese tourist scratched his name into it. The boy etched Mandarin calligraphy on the tablet of Alexander the Great, reading, Ding Jin Hao was here. The vandal was quickly tracked down. He was a teenage boy from China who had come on a tour to the temple with his parents. 
Apparently, no one caught him in the act, so he probably would have gotten away with it if he hadn't signed his name. Ding Xinhao's parents have reportedly apologized to the Egyptian people and angered Chinese citizens. Number 5. Jim Morrison's Grave of all the types of monuments, you'd think that a grave site would be respected. But if the buried person is rock star Jim Morrison, apparently all bets are off. Morrison, who sang with The Doors and died at only 27, is buried in Paris. The monument looks somewhat different now than it did in 1971. It started off as a small plaque on the ground surrounded by seashells. Those were soon gone, taken by fans. A bust of Morrison was added to the memorial and got spray-painted, decked with flowers and jewelry, and then carried off altogether. Finally, Morrison's family had to hire a guard to watch the grave and keep overzealous fans from adding or taking away anything objectionable. Number 4. Namol Pyramid So far, we've seen monuments painted, rearranged, and defaced, but this is the first one that got completely destroyed. Was it because of war or natural disaster? Nope. Someone wanted some gravel. There's fury in Belize after a construction company nearly destroyed a Mayan temple to extract crushed rock for a road building project. There may be stupider reasons to bulldoze an ancient temple, but it's hard to imagine them. The Namol Pyramid of Belize was one of the largest Mayan buildings still standing at at least 2,000 years old and pretty obviously an ancient structure. The construction company that destroyed it was either extremely ignorant or appallingly indifferent. Hard to say which is worse. This is an incredible, incredible destruction. Apparently, important historical sites in Belize have little practical protection. But the pointless destruction of a cultural landmark seems ridiculous even under those circumstances. What happened there is uh, both deplorable and unforgivable. Number 3. Rapa Nui Statues the mysterious Moai statues with their giant heads have guarded the island of Rapa Nui, also known as Easter Island, for centuries. No one really knows who carved them from volcanic rock or why. Despite efforts to protect these unique artifacts, they have been through a lot. In 2008, a Finnish tourist pulled off one statue's earlobe, which crumbled in his hand. Other tourists have touched the statues or climbed on them to get cool photos, in direct violation of the rules. Worst of all, in 2020, a man in a pickup truck lost control, crashed into one of the Moai, and destroyed it. One can only hope that these statues will endure the ravages of time, weather, and morons. Number 2. Stonehenge You may be wondering, how could someone possibly ruin Stonehenge? It's been standing for almost 5,000 years. Well, it hasn't been utterly destroyed, but the British government has had to severely restrict access to the Great Monument because of badly behaved visitors. First, they had to stop people from bringing chisels to take bits of stone as souvenirs. Then they had to put ropes around each stone to keep people from climbing on them. And now, after several solstices of dealing with gum, oil, graffiti, and even human waste, no one is allowed to go among the stones without special permission. So you can still visit Stonehenge, but thanks to the morons, you have to stay several yards away from it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Great Sphinx of Giza the Great Sphinx of Giza, like the nearby Great Pyramid, is a construction of amazing proportions. A limestone statue of a man-headed lion, over 200 feet long and 60 feet high, it's at least 4,000 years old. And aside from natural erosion, the Sphinx is in pretty good condition, except for one thing. Its nose is missing. There was an old rumor that Napoleon's troops shot off the nose with a cannon, but historians now believe that a Sufi man, who objected to people worshipping the Sphinx, climbed up and hacked off its nose sometime in the 15th century. He did not like that. He came with a metal, damaged the nose. The outraged locals hanged him, which may seem extreme, but then so does going to all the trouble to break someone else's statue. By disfiguring the Sphinx's face in this way, the fanatics also took away her identity. Identity. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.